to go into the 4th of July run, and I've got, basically we've got about three months of rodeos. The 4th of July run is, is just a small portion. It always seems like the, a big part of the year just because it's always been called Cowboy Christmas, and we look forward to going to it every year, but as soon as we get done with it, we go right into the next week, and it seems like that week's just as good as the last. And So we've got a, a long road ahead of us, and we're excited about it. So. I think about 11 12, 11, 12 rodeos over the fourth, probably 16, 17 steers, 18 steers over the fourth. Right now we got, I think, 10, 10 or 11. Including Reno, starting from Reno to end of the seventh, we'll have 21 steers is what we counted up, including short rounds, so. I know we're roping around um, 18 steers, um, starting, Thursday, this Thursday. Um, I'm going to 12. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, it, de it depends, I guess, on if we can uh, if we can catch some flats. Uh, it will kind of depend on how many steers. But it's going to be somewhere around, I think we can get to run somewhere around uh, 10 steers over the floor or something like that. That's not counting the short round. Hopefully we'll make some short rounds and get to run a few more. And... I have uh, four horses and two rigs. And uh, right now we have three, but we're about to send one with the other horse and the other rig over the fourth. And uh, we all ride kind of everybody's horse. It works out pretty good that way. I'll ride three horses over the fourth. Um, I've got a young horse that I'll ride at Pecos this week and, uh, and at Sonora. And then I've got my good horse, my little buckskin horse. I ride him at the Bob Feist and uh, the, the longer scores. And then uh, my old horse that I ride at the finals and stuff, I'll ride him at the tougher one headers. I've got three of them on the road. They are. They're uh, a lot of longer scores, shorter scores, and uh, my horse I have now is really fast, and uh, I like the longer scores, like kind of here, and you have to run them a little ways. It's a lot different from where I grew up in Texas, where it's go as fast as you can and time in seven. If you don't, you're not going to win anything. So I kind of like the longer scores and having to run them a long ways. It doesn't bother me at all. I think some guys it does, and like my partner, same way as me. He, he's pretty easy going, and so if we got to get a plane ticket last minute, it's not that big a deal. Well, they they can be tiring. I actually got a, I got a driver right now, so hopefully I won't be doing too many of those. But they do suck. They're, it's good to switch off and on, but it's pretty tiring by yourself. We like to wing it. That's kind of our motto. <laughs> we just wing it. So we just try to. We've just, run, we've roped a lot of steers. So I mean together. So we kind of. I mean. We've kind of got a run that we try to. Try to make it every one of them. So that's kind of what we're, the plan is anyway. But. Stop the clock is the main thing. That's the main thing. If a guy can just get tapped off and, and be confident in his game, roping good, and then on top of that, draw really well across the board, I mean, it gives you such an edge that, you know, it's, drawing is huge. It's everything. I just want to do my job, do the best of my ability every time, and then where, where the chips fall at the end, I'll be happy with it, I think, as long as I do the job. So we're, we're blessed for the, the more so as, as the trip goes goes by. Uh, traveling really hard in the fourth July, we're flying a lot. Um, we got rigs going different places. I just uh, pray for everything to be safe and everything to fall in place. Yeah, green is definitely funny. I love the color of green. 